Yeah, man. Knock only sessions. Wakan Dra, Shabbat Shalom. We did it again. I mean, without these checkpoints, my noggin, this stuff would go by so fast. I feel like we just, we just did this, right? We just did it again, right? And now we just did it again. Hey, hey up to you for having a focal point, for taking refuge in a while, for being battled up. In battle time, hey, out to the battles, clan battle, thriving and popping off, man. It's great to know that the tribe is uh, you know, extending and connecting. You know, everybody right now, you know, with all the difficulties, you know, we can truly say that we found something that we can never let go of, which is a hope and a faith restored and to a dragonfly perspective, you know, that we can see clearly that the work we're doing is taking hold, that we got Naga stepping up to assist in whatever the tribe needs, man, and that's been the vision from day one, to be connected cons, you know, so a hop to you and, you know, all the work everybody's doing, everybody's doing, man, it's we all see it, you know, no one's doing it to be recognized or, you know, or anybody doing it for, you know, the wrong reason, man. Everybody's doing it just because they feel so good inside. And whatever you have to give, you're giving. Whatever you have to help, you're helping, you know. And people are helping you and people are giving to you. And we're beginning to trust in each other and believe in each other with a, with a refreshed you know, assurance, man, that it's the best way. It's the best way to be. It's the best way to live. It's the best way to activate. To be an ak, to be aquas, 
Shout out to the Aqua. The Aquas do so much around this house, you know, to make it a house, to put those ingredients together. So we love our Aquas and the strong vibe and this cold that my my ox man continue to give a strong wall of protection, man, in the ether and the frequency in real time. Wall of protection is where we are. For joy world. For joy world. We have a wall of protection. A high peculiar joy. We're popping off with our fence. And it feels so good. To know I'm doing it with you. Piece by piece. <laughs> Let's pop it off. My mind. It's to knock on these sessions. Psalms chapter 37. Allow why. Love to your honor time for this one. He mentioned it in the last real spill, I believe, and had it on my heart bone. Let's go. Fret not thyself because of evil do. Neither be Envious against them that work unrighteousness. Man. <laughs> oh, man, I was just talking to a bro about these wicked ones and evildoers, the things we've had to overcome to get to this point. And we've all had to overcome evildoers, man. Even when it was ourselves, we had to overcome our own evil. You might be beating yourself up, you know, because of some wrong you've done. Or you might be wanting to beat somebody else up because of some evil they done done to you. But fret not yourself because of evil doers. Them haters, man, don't, don't even trip on that. Neither be you envious against them that work on righteousness. Don't look at them and be like, oh man, look at their social media, man. They popping off. Look at these views they're getting. Look at this. <laughs> look at all these likes they're getting. I mean, man, social media got a lot of people envious. All it's done is expose more covetousness, wickedness, and evil doing. Give somebody a platform to hate, you know? They gonna hate. <laughs> Straight up. So don't be envious against them that work in righteousness, for they soon wither like the grass. That's why you shouldn't be tripping. Because that frequency they need, all that energy they need to hate on you, you think they're going to get it from mama? You think Abba's going to give them that, that security and that frequency? They're going to be framed in shape? Now, they all think they got wisdom, right? But they do not have the framer and the shape. So don't worry, because they're going to wither away like grass and fade as the green herb. Trust in Hawa and do good. Just keep going. Keep moving your feet. Don't worry about them wicked ones. Don't worry about them evil doers. I don't know who out there need to hear this, but my naga. Don't worry about them evil dudes. Let them keep let them keep popping off, man. Let them keep popping off at the lip. Talking all that, you know, wing wham. You know, let them keep, you know, uh, in their evil ways, man, because they will wither like grass. Because what frequency is going to keep them up? Everything they're about is temporary. Don't be envious toward them because they look like they popping off. Oh, they popping off to uh, the world. But in reality, they're withering like grass. How are you going to be envious against something that's withering away? How are you going to be jealous of, of something that's withering like grass, man? 
trust in Hawaii and do good. You just keep doing good. Dwell in the land and cherish faithfulness, man. My naga, for joy world, we popping off. We talking about dwelling in the land. The choose up village. I'm talking about Nagaville dwelling in your land. And cherishing faithfulness. What does it mean to cherish faithfulness? That means all that faith that you're filled with, you're, you're cherishing it because that faith has been proven. See, the children of Hawaii, we have faith. It's not religious, you know. You can't scoff at faith having people because in times like this, their faith shines. And you with less faith might look at the faithful and say, oh, y'all just in some nostalgia. Y'all just in some Bible nostalgia. <laughs> you don't understand because you're not filled with this faith. You don't know what it feels like to have the confidence in Hawa when it says to trust in Hawa. Does that mean do nothing? Don't be prepared? Yada, yada. No, that means, man, in Hawa, you have wisdom. And what do you do with wisdom? Wisdom fortifies you. Wisdom speaks to you so you you understand everything that you need to know when you need to know with wisdom you can learn any of the trades and you know any of these things that you need to learn and do you know how to till your soil and plant your garden and build your fence with wisdom you have the best group the best team you have a fortified kingdom with mama right so trusting in the Lord is trusting in your framer and shaper. Then you learn to cherish faithfulness, not to scorn it, not to scaff, scoff at the faithful and saying, oh, y'all just trusting the creator. All right, well, y'all go ahead and do that. I'll be over here doing this. It's getting so real. Y'all just over there just fa having faith. <laughs> we trust in Hawaii. We cherish faithfulness we are dwelling in our land because this is where we're moving towards this is what the vision is we're not just you know talking about it we being about it I'm talking to the tribe see these Tanakh only sessions you don't have to guess uh, who's the audience <laughs> nah it's Drop Nation this is tribal radio I'm talking to tribal mafia. I'm talking to the ether squad. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the real noggers in the back of the class and in the front and everywhere in between. I'm talking to Nagaville from coast to coast. We are the faithful. Not because we're filled with our faith in the Bible or Christianity or Islam. Because we are filled with the faith in our framer and our shape. That in code, in order, we bring order to mama and daddy. <laughs> we get we get order in return. The the most important thing in this time and this all this straight treachery and, and lies and you know absolute wickedness we're talking about evil doers right so right now we're in the pandemic we have evil doers we're, we're tripping because they're so evil in code we cherish the complete faith that when we have our power this order that's been returned to us 
We have a connection. We have a unity. 500 code keepers can build a fence. <laughs> you know, 500 code keepers can build a whole land, a whole tribe up. This wickedness of this captivity. Before you go crazy, just remember Hawaii said not to fret yourself because of evil. Do it. And I know the wickedness is at all time high and our family feel like they're being just taken out left and right. And it's okay to feel something. It's okay to feel this, man. Because I feel it. I feel it with you, my naga, but you know, don't fret yourself to death. Don't don't fret yourself. Don't be tripping so much that you're just stagnant. Don't be tripping so much that you don't continue to build yourself up every day. And don't look at this system and be envious of it because, you know, oh, these people seem like they got it together. Everything you're seeing, everything that seems so dominant, everything that seems so strong, it's going to wither like grass, man. This whole system, this whole situation. Your reality has returned, so the hijack is going to wither like grass. And you need to be faithful in who you are to a point where you are cherishing your faithfulness. Anybody try to take your faith away because they want to attach it to something, you know, some predetermined measurement in their mind that your faith must be religious. Your faith must be some Bible nostalgia. They don't have it. They can't feel you. So don't don't fret over evil doers. They can't feel you. They don't have faith in Hawaii. A while to them is like a backup plan. Like, look, I'm going to just have this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And then I'll trust in the creator, too, to, you know, do this. And, you know, as a backup, hopefully you got your faith in a while. No. That's not a backup plan. That's plan A is to trust in Hawa. Because when you're truly trusting in Hawa, you ain't put no power next to your power or before your power. you back in code. With that 100% and only with the full trust, will you get the answers you're desiring? Will you get the stillness to move, to think clearly and to move, you know? It's all about moving water. But you need to be still in order to move. You can't be wavery all over the place. You got to be firm, fixed, and immovable in order to move, my life. If you want water to flow in a certain direction, things have to be established. If it's just chaotic terrain and the water's going all over the place, if you want it to all flow as a mighty river, like the Orinoco, the foundations have to be established. The boundaries for that water, the order must be there. It can't just be moving water without no order. It gotta be firm and fixed in order. It needs to be immovable in the order it's in for it to continue to flow. Kyle. So you're always being moving water, but the foundation must be solid. It must be fixed. This is a time where all my nagas, whether you're in the street, whether you're over there, whether you, you know, are, are, are educated, you know, career Nagas, you know, whether you street Nagas, you know, whether you just chilling Nagas, you know, whether you sports Nagas, and whatever you do, everyone is getting crystal clear that a foundation is necessary. And the foundation we thought was there ain't there. And the only foundation we have is our code. This code allows us to see clearly and be eye to eye, shoulder to shoulder with our friend and shaper. Then you get the answers. Then you get the way. You don't have to be confused with a whole bunch of things. You just have to say, you know what? I'm inspired to do this. We're we're inspired to build a fence, man. 
It's not complicated, but it's an important fence for us <laughs> because we know what goes inside of it. We know what's coming inside of it. You know what I mean? Blue, purple, red, white, let it go thread. It's all happening, so that's the inspiration, you know. This fence don't have to mean nothing to you. We're inspired to do it. That has nothing to do with you if you if you ain't, you know, filled with faith that you can cherish. If you ain't trusting Hawa, this fence ain't got nothing to do with you. But to the code keepers I see clearly, they see, whoa. An entire blue, purple, red fence on an acre of beautiful land. And you though, what's gonna go in there, drop? I guess mama will reveal the next step at the right time, right? <laughs> I guess wisdom will fortify our house as she sees fit in order so we can have a flow like that mighty Orinoco River. Verse 4, Psalm 37. So shall thou delight yourself in Hawaii. Delight yourself in Hawa. Just like mama delights Hawa. You need to de delight yourself in Hawa. You keep the cold. That is delightful. He shall give you the petitions of your heart. So you got Proverbs 8 talking about what mama giving you. Now you're hearing about what your daddy going to give you. As you are in cold. Delighting yourself in the cold. Delighting yourself in Hawa. Exodus 20 got us in code. And he shall give you the petitions of your heart, whatever your heart desire, because now you are in code. So whatever's coming out your heart is coming out in order. So it can be done. Everything you touch is gold because you're in code. And whatever you petition in your heart bone is righteous. So you are Giving your magic back, your power back. My nag, I mean, you know, you got your dagger back, you know what I'm saying? You got your sword back. Verse 5 Commit your way into Hawaii. Whose way? Commit your way unto the Creator. KTC, keep the code. We just played that Shylon, Shylon uh, monk, you know, dropping all that, you know, uh, you know, drop about, you know, their philosophies and so much goes into what you do with your way, you know, how you are on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying, your, your habits, you know, things like that, controlling, you know, yourself with everything you do, you know, being balanced. Not getting too high, not getting too low. He said, you will know what somebody is good at just by observing them, you know, for a 24-hour period, you know, regularly, you know. Whatever they're committed to is what they will be good at. If they're committed to hating all day, they're going to be some good haters, man. <laughs> they're committed to growing and, you know, recon. They're going to be, you know, strong and, you know, they're going to grow. They're going to. Be resourceful in a recon. If they're committed to basketball, they're going to do that. That's their kung fu. You know, whatever they're doing <laughs> is their kung fu, you know. But we're just talking about the cons and the con. Fool. <laughs> Let's go. So when you commit to Hawaii, you trust also in him and he will bring it to pass. And he will make your righteousness to go forth as the light and your right as the noonday. Lawa. You will make your righteousness, thy righteousness, to go forth as the light and thy right as the noonday. Resign thyself unto Hawa and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself because of him who prospereth in his way. Don't be jealous of no one that looks like they're prospering. 
It's a it's a it's a it's a get it's a gamut. <laughs> it's a gimmick. It's a gambit. <laughs> Fret not thyself because of him that prospers in his way. We ain't talking a wise way. We're talking about their own way. Because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. Who's that? Who's prospering in this pandemic? Because of the per of these people <laughs> bringing wicked devices, right? To pass, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself. Stop worrying yourself. Stop tripping. It tends only to evil doing. You meditate on evil, you're gonna be evil. You're angry. It's going to turn into something wicked. Cease from anger, my naga. Forsake wrath. Stop tripping. Fret not thyself. It tends only to evil doing. For evil doers shall be cut off. By the frequency, my naga. You're out of cold. You're out of frequency. That cuts you off. It's not like the creator's like, you're cut off. You cut yourself off. You cut off your frequency with the evil. You cut off your frequency. Just like if you eat wicked things that are uh, not uh, clean, whatever. You know what I mean? All right. You know, we always we always promote having a plant-based situation or at least a majority plant-based situation. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, look, as long as you are in your Levitical flow, it's all a hop. I mean, everyone... It got to be where they at, got to enjoy what they enjoy, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, you know, we always tell you, man, <laughs> you don't know where this stuff is coming from, you know what I'm saying? You might just want to leave it alone, you know, but if you start eating a bunch of swine and pork all day, and let's say you get back on that bacon all day long and shrimp and seafood, and I know they cooking it up a certain way, it's smelling good and looking good, and Yada, yada, yada. So you're just doing it, doing it. You're eating all these bottom feeders. You're, you're eating all these unclean animals, these unclean things, you know. And some people eat stuff worse than that, <laughs> right? So, man, all you do is you bring, it's like you cut yourself off from being healthy. You cut yourself off from vibrate, vibrating, vibing up. Like you would if you were eating the uh, at least a clean, if there's such a such thing in 2021, but clean animals or clean meat or just, you know, clean plants, you know, clean plant-based flow. Man, love to brother nature because we are living well. Hey, man, you know what we do. So, you know, it's a violation. You're cutting yourself off. Verse 9, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait for Hawa shall inherit the land. Don't you want to inherit your land again? Bottom line. Do you want to inherit your land again? How important is it to you? It's like a boxer. You got a championship fight. But he's still going to eat whatever he wants at night. He's going to sneak around. He's going to cheat. You don't want to go on them jogs. You don't really want to go to the gym. But he wants a championship. How bad do you want it, my naga? How bad you want that championship? Because whoever you're going to fight with on the other corner of that ring, they better not want it more than you, my naga. They better not want it more than you. Not today. You don't think you had a... In a battle, you don't think you got an opponent? Whoever that is on the other side of the ring, they better not want your destruction more than you want to be healthy and strong and, you know, <laughs> to protect your family and, you know, be a true. Be a true son and be a true daughter to your creator. You got to want to be a righteous seed 
more than the evildoer wants to destroy you. You know what I'm saying? You got to want your righteousness more than they want your wickedness. They want to bring you into their world, into wickedness. You got to want your righteousness more than they want you to be wicked. They don't want you to be righteous. They don't truly want no crime or else <laughs> they're all out of the job. They're all out of the business. They don't want you to eat healthy or else the medical business is gone. They don't want you to stop doing crime because then they can't get their organs and stuff, right? Because that's what they do. What do you think happens? <laughs> Either they bury these bodies with their fresh organs intact. How much money they make off that melanin? Aqua, copper color, 144, copper color creation. Over $500 a gram is your melanin. Where's the most melanin? In your organs. Which ones? Oh, like the heart, the liver, oh, gotcha, your lungs. All your major organs contain the most melanin. Get them the most money. Do you think they want you to be righteous? Do you think your opponent wants you to be righteous? Because when you're righteous, oh boy. It really is all happening. Everything in reverse now. Not only are you healthy, Banaga, but you something else now, man. You got your Dracon on Kum Kum. Kwame Kwam Kwam. You got the glow. You ain't no slave no more. They can't control you. You got too much fire. Too much water. Too much ether. And the whole earth is yours. Now that's a dragon. They don't want you to be righteous. They don't want you to inherit your land. Verse 10. In yet a little while. And the wicked is no more. You shall look well at his place and he is not but the humble shall inherit the land the humble shall inherit the land wow cease from anger and forsake wrath fret not thyself it tends only to evil doing for evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait for her watch shall inherit the land. And yet a little while, and the wicked is no more. Yeah. Thou shalt look well at his place, and he is not, and the humble shall inherit the land. That means you ain't just trying to go your own way. You ain't trying to just, you know... <laughs> Not listen, not here, man. You, you, you're humble because the truth will humble you. Because the truth is a frequency, and the frequency is Hawa. The humble shall inherit the land and delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes at him with his teeth. Wah does laugh at him. Wah is laughing at the wicked. For he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy to slay such as are upright in the way. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. Better is a little that the righteous has than the abundance of many wicked. You only got a little, my naga, that's Baruch, because better is that little than all that abundance of all that wickedness. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but Hawa upholds the righteous. Hawa knows the days of them that are wholehearted and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the time of evil and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied, not because they prepared all their storehouses, but because Hawa is with them. Hawa has given them the wisdom to prepare when they've prepared. But 
it was their righteousness that enabled them to have mama in order to have the type of preparation they really need, not just some internet uh, prep talk. <laughs> I'm talking about that deep-rooted understanding of what they need to do, which is what we are in the flow of. This is our journey to connect to Hawa to know exactly what we need and exactly where we need to be. For the wicked shall perish and the enemies of Hawa shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall pass away in smoke and they shall pass they shall pass away in smoke they shall pass away I'm talking about the enemies of Hawa the wicked shall be as the fat of lambs the wicked borrows and pays not but the righteous deals graciously and gives for such are the blessed of him such as are the blessed of him shall inherit the land it's all about the land once you KTC that's why we're talking land so much because once you're in order once you're in code that's the next step <laughs> is fortifying your land because Hawa is giving you your inheritance for such are the Baruch of him that shall inherit the land and they that are cursed of him shall be cut off simple and plain it is of Hawa that a man's goings are established Hawa is the security that's the Wa and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for Hawa upholds his hand. I have been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteousness forsaken. This is Dawid talking. Nor his seed begging bread. This is what we're talking about. Don't put the preparation <laughs> before you're cold, before you trusting in Hawa, before you cherishing your faithfulness. Because as Dawi is saying, is the same thing I'm saying, my naga. I've never seen the righteous abandoned because they didn't have enough storehouses. I've never seen them having to go beg for bread when they're in cold. It comes to them. Mama, the ingredients, life, whatever you call it, karma, whatever you call it, it, it's all happening for the righteous. All the day, long he deals graciously and he lends and his seed is Baruch, depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore for Hawa loves justice and forsakes not his saints. Mama, daddy ain't gonna leave you. Ain't gonna leave you behind because you unprepared. They ain't gonna leave you behind. They're going to keep sending them ships to make sure you're out of there. They're going to keep sending them boats, no matter how many boats you miss, no matter how much preparation you miss. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Hawa forsakes not his saints, verse 28. They are preserved forever. You are preserved forever, and the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, Amma, and his tongue speaks justice. The law of his power is in his heart. None of his steps slide, my love. You are firm, fixed, and immovable. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay him, oh boy. But Hawa will not leave him in his hand, nor suffer him to be condemned when he is judged. Wait for Hawa, wait for Hawa, and keep his way, KTC, and he will exalt thee to inherit your land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power. Ain't they powerful today, my naga? I've seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a leafy tree in his native soil. But one passed by, and lo, he was not. I sought him and he could not be found. Mark the man of integrity and behold the upright for there 
is a future for the man of peace. But the transgressors, out of cold noggins, shall be destroyed together. The wicked, the future of the wicked shall be cut off, but the salvation of the righteous is of Hawa. He is their stronghold in the time of trouble, and Hawa helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they have taken refuge in him. Is your refuge in your information? Is your refuge in the vibration? Are you KTC? Most high over everything, M-H-O-E. Mama got that water for you. You're dripping in that, in that mem sauce. <laughs> well, all right. Now we see clearly because Exodus 20 got us in code. What, what part of this code are you arguing with? What part of this code are you against? What part of this code is confusing you? Don't put no power before your power. Because Hawa has taken you out of bondage. Hawa will put you back in bondage. So there should be no other gods, no other power, nothing else. What part of this code don't you understand? Don't take the name of Hawa in vain, for Hawa will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain, saying Hawa's, you know, telling you to do stuff that Hawa never told you to do. Oh, Hawa said, no, Hawa did not say that. Don't take your breath and your security in vain. Did I confuse you yet? Anybody got an issue with the code so far? Don't put no power before your source, your power, your energy. Don't put this energy in vain and apply vanity to it. We're talking about the nine code. This number three. Remember the Shabbat, man. Shabbat Shalom. Because six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day, man, this is a rest unto Hawaii. No manner of work shall be done. Either you believe or you don't. You in between, this ain't for you. But believing in this is different than believing in some religion. I need you to try this. I need you to keep your Shabbat. I need you to dedicate yourself to it, not because of what it would do for you, but because you have reverence and respect for your creator and you're doing what needs to be done, and you're doing what you're supposed to be, be doing, you are being responsible to not just yourself, but your creator in the entire earth plane of Nagaville. Because you know that if you keeping a code, somebody in Florida keeping it, somebody in Virginia keeping it, we got Nagas in the UK, in France, in Italy, in Spain keeping it, Australia and Turkey, Everybody keeping a code. Africa, they keeping a code too. Then now we formed a wall of protection, a frequency grid of protection, of connection. You got a problem with the code? Putting the power before your power? Your source of creation? Putting vanity on that and, and you know, acting like it is what it ain't? Resting every seven days? So that you don't spin out of control in hijack city. You, have, you got a focal point. You're not getting dizzy. You're focused on the code, the mission. You're on a mission for Hawa. Number four, you're honoring your father and your mother above. Your ama aba. <laughs> that your days be long upon the land which Hawa gives you. We're talking the land getting your inheritance number five you ain't killing your brother and sister number six you ain't stealing from your brother and sister number seven you ain't committing adultery my life
you a solid noggin. You honor your commitments. You honor that aqua. That aqua, you honor your aqua. Number eight, you ain't bearing false witness against your brother, against your sister. If you ain't a witness to it, you're zipping your lips because you don't know about it. You ain't murmuring. You ain't just talking, you know, hateful things and spreading hateful insinuendos. <laughs> you ain't insinuating uh, n nothing fabricated and, you know, that connects to being a false witness. You're not doing that to hurt them or to, you know, degrade their character or or, or you know destroy what they're doing like that's the covetness which leads us to number nine in the nine code the nine spot thou shalt not covet your neighbor's house thou shalt not cover your neighbor's wife none of his servants none of his stuff his cars his clothes whatever you don't get jealous of everything everybody else got you are grateful for what Hawaii's given you and you see the vision for what you gotta do. You get that covenant out your heart. You stop bearing false witness. You stop stealing from each other. You stop killing each other. You stop committing adultery. And you be a solid, stable, real one in your relationships and you honor each other. You honor your father and your mother so that your days are long upon your land. You rest every seventh day, man. You honor Hawa with that. You connect to your frequency. You weaponize with Hawa. You remove the vanity from your framer and the shape of your breath of security. You don't have a vain breath. And you don't have vain security, right? So no vanity when it comes to Hawa's name. Because that's your name. And there ain't no other power but the one that created us, man. This is the one that we're always through a code we are responsible to and connected with all throughout the world's beyond a pole. One power. One Hawa. You ready to rock like that? If I haven't offended you, then you are a code keeper. You are a code keeper. Now you take them first steps. You take them steps to embrace your faithfulness, to cherish your faithfulness. And you see what Hawa returns into you, your life. And this time, we need all the security we can get. More than your information, your vibration needs to be secure and confirm the confirmation for the con. 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 Because Exodus 20 got us in code. Shabbat Shalom, my night. Shabbat Shalom, my night. Shabbat. Shalom. <sighs> to knock only sessions, a nagas. Keep surfing away. The Ahab is real. The tribe is real. <laughs> Drop Nation, you know the vibe is real. Continue to hit checkpoint after checkpoint and meditate on the code because the code never gets old. But it is our ancient love song. <laughs> Allow. <laughs>